Hey YouTube, hope everyone is doing well. Raj here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing some sample testing. I've got a bunch of samples which I wanted to go through, give you my uh, first impressions. Some of the some of the samples I've actually tried already, so it's more sort of initial first impressions. Um, there's some samples in here which I've got for free, some which I've bought, and I want to do a video sometime later on um, of samples which have been sent to me. So first of all, uh, three samples I'm going to talk about in this video are Cartier's Essence d'Orange, uh, Andy Tower's Vetiver Dance, and Frappand, Passion Boisé. So let's get into the Cartier one. So this is Eau de Cartier Essence d'Orange. It's a Eau de Toilette, and uh, I got this one for free when I bought some fragrances in a department store, uh, and it comes in a sprayer. So. This fragrance is a summery fragrance, it's very light, uh, as the name suggests, Essence d'Orange, it's a citrus based fragrance. Um, I've got this on and to be honest, it's pretty light, it's not very long lasting, but you, for, for the about four or five hours where um, this fragrance goes on for about four or five hours, and in that time, what you're going to get is a kind of orange juice type vibe, slightly minty. Um, maybe the mint is also um, turning into something slightly herbal um, and again it's quite light, it's quite sweet and slightly sweet honey floral type scent. I think to be honest this is leaning towards the um, feminine side. In the dry down it starts to um, remind me a little bit of Traversé du Bosphore which is a L'Artisan Parfumeur fragrance. Uh, but not as not as sweet as that one, so a nice fragrance, and I think I could pull it off, but um, I probably won't buy it. It doesn't last long enough on my skin. The quality is there, but um, it's a, it's a decent scent. Um, I like it, but not enough to buy. One thing which I do actually quite like, it's probably the highlight for me of this fragrance, is that it reminds me in the opening of an alcoholic drink called Pims. I don't know how widely distributed around around the world Pims is, but it's it's pretty popular here in the UK. It's a very summer summer drink and is synonymous with Wimbledon. When you go to Wimbledon, you have uh, Pims and you have strawberries and cream. And so Pims is basically an alcoholic spirit. Um, the recipe is actually a secret, so they say on the bottle. And uh, basically, you put that in into a glass, you top it up with lemonade, and you add cucumber and oranges and fruit basically, uh, strawberries and uh, mint leaves and you mix that all in together and I think this is kind of what this fragrance reminds me of and it does smell like that also as well. So yeah, good fragrance. Um, I wouldn't pay for this, I wouldn't buy it, I'm glad I got it free and, and uh, I think it's worth checking out. Next up is a fragrance which, a couple of fragrances which I got from Lucky Scent, so I did buy these ones. First up is Frappin's Passion or Passion Passion Boisé. Uh, I was really disappointed with this one. <clears throat> I love the house of uh, Frappin. I don't actually own any of the fragrances, but if I was to, were to buy some, I would probably uh, have 1270 and um, Caravel Epic probably at the top of my list. I'm definitely not going to buy this one because I don't enjoy it at all. The note breakdown was really promising for me, but it. <sighs> It's almost non-existent. It's so nondescript as well. I can't really tell you what this smells of because to me it smells of nothing. Um, it's slightly fruity, maybe slightly alcoholic, coming from the rum. But I think this is pretty boring to be honest. And I don't know whether I got a bad sample. Probably not. It's probably a completely fine sample. But I just, I just can't get anything out of it. I've had these sample. I've had these fragrances on for a couple of hours and. From the start and even now, it's just an absolutely nothing. I can't even detect it, and I, I used about three quarters of a sample in one wearing. So yeah, a bit of a disappointment. Um, yeah, well, I'm, just, I'm just reading my notes, and there's nothing. There's, there's nothing in my notes, to be honest. So I, can't, I can't really say anything more on this. Next up is luckily a fragrance which uh, I did in, I do enjoy, and it's a really special one. This is. No surprise that it comes from the house of Andy Tower. This is Vetiver Dance. So, a really strong, it's a really strong fragrance actually, and I've only dabbed on a little bit from this um, vial. 
What it really is, is a very uh, green, a very sappy, um, resiny, almost slightly soapy as well um, style fragrance with a hint of black pepper I get in there. Um, in the first couple of, in the first maybe hour, or maybe the opening half an hour, I didn't detect any vetiver at all. As the fragrance developed, and now I'm starting to get this vetiver, and that's something I notice with vetiver fragrances is that sometimes they don't always appear in the top note, or in the opening of a fragrance. They then slowly creep up on you. And this is great. This is almost slightly lemony. Mixed in with the pepper and a hint of spice, and this fragrance actually reminds me of another tower fragrance from the Pentacord line. Um, it's more, it's it's like a toned down version of Verdant, which is an unbelievable fragrance for me. That is, if I'm going to buy a tower fragrance, the next purchase is pr probably going to be that one. Uh, so this is like a, t a toned down version of um, Tower's Verdant. A great fragrance, really good. So uh, that's the first video I've got of um, a few samples. I'm going to do another one of a few more. The reason I am not going to do those samples now is because my memory stick isn't my memory card and my camera isn't actually. Uh, I can only do 10-minute videos in one go. I'm going to try and get a longer, uh, a, a larger capacity memory card maybe later on. So that's for, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for my next sample testing video. Thanks, guys. Bye.